Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be. I'm sure many of you know that you can use the merge and centre command to centre headings across a worksheet. And of course it works a bit like this as you drag through the, uh, uh, through the columns across which you want the heading centred and then click the merge and centre button. Uh, you can do it that way, um, which is fine. However, there is perhaps a better mousetrap. I'm going to show you how to insert a graphic there and then use the graphic as the heading. So we'll clear what we have here, we'll clear all, and we'll go back to uh, our cell A1. And what I'm going to do is to insert a shape and choose the rectangle. When I hover my mouse in cell A1, and hold down the ALT key, I can now drag through the cells across which I want the heading to be and you'll notice that when I release the um, uh, release the uh, mouse that the cells are nice and evenly filled. I can now type into that cell, so I'll say sales performance oops, sales performance And because it's a shape, I can center align the text within the cell, or within the shape I should say. We'll center align it vertically as well. We'll make the text bigger by selecting it. Thus, so it's all done with the mouse. And we'll change the text color to red. We'll make it bold and italic at the same time. Uh, the fill color can of course be changed thus and when I click away there I see that I have a graphic as my heading. The beauty about it is that I have much more control and ease of changing what is inside the, uh, the, the graphic in terms of the heading. Because when I click on the graphic I can format that graphic quite easily by clicking on the format tab, go to shape fill and I might like to use a gradient and the gradient that we'll use uh, will be um, down here I'm going to click more gradients and I'll change the colour to uh, perhaps a uh, blue and uh, there I see the uh, gradient fill button is available to me um, there are some preset gradients there. So I can play about with that and use the sliders etc. You can see the difference uh, in the changes that are made. I can change the colour here if I wish. Uh, we'll change it to a blue and um, I can play about with that until I get the heading exactly as I want it. So I'm going to change the colour back to white but with the pink, pinky background. So. Uh, uh, hopefully you found this handy. It certainly can increase the uh, the uh, uh, attractiveness of the spreadsheet. If I look at it, I'll just close this uh, here. If I look at it in print preview, I'll print print preview. There I can see that the um, that the heading appears quite nicely in terms of the printing. Uh, I see here also that it's slightly over the headings, and again the beauty of the graphic is that if I go back to where I was I can resize that graphic simply by dragging up a little bit and out of the way and I can also just drag it there and now if I look at it in print preview there it's beautifully positioned across the uh, uh, across the page so there we go uh, up to you as to whether or not you use it but it's a uh, very handy way to uh, increase the the, uh, the value of the appearance of your spreadsheets. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we shall see you next time. Bye for now.